guys have been putting a lot of pressure on me to get this done. This is a Southord NPS 2000 pocket pen set. Uh, a lot of you wanted it. You've been sending emails, and I went online. I went to lockpickshop.com. I saw they wanted $59.95 for this thing, and i got to tell you, I was a little hesitant. But I figured, you're the fans. This is fan-funded. I'll spring for it. And I was very surprised. The picture on the website really doesn't do this thing justice. And you really got to hold it in your hand and look at it close. And that's what we're going to do today. This is what it looks like when everything is together. I've gone ahead and put uh, the short hook in there. But I'd like to go over this very closely because I think it's important you see the level of detail you get for 60 bucks. Um, I got to tell you, it's very nice, very tightly fitted. This is a stainless steel cap that holds the tension wrench on. The shaft is made from aluminum. The tip, also stainless steel, and then the collet is uh, machined out of brass. All the picks are 25 thousandths stainless steel and they fit beautifully. Let's go over it uh, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I didn't realize this from the picture, but when you take this off, first of all, the, the tension wrench doesn't just fall out. If you take look closely at these tension wrenches, let me set this down. They've gone to the trouble to cut a little bit here on the rear and a little bit on the front. And that's so that it will fit into these grooves and not fall out. It doesn't slide out. Even if your cap works its way loose, that doesn't come out of there. So let me go ahead and put that cap back on and I'm going to show you the tension wrenches. You get four tension wrenches. You get two long ones, like I've got a long one installed. And there's another one and they're two different widths. So one is the wider, and then the one I put back in there is the standard slim size. If you don't like the long ones, let's say that those are maybe, I don't know, for tall people. If you're a short person, they also give you two of the exact same widths, but of a shorter clip. So if you're short like me, you get to use those. If you're short and fat like me, I don't know what you're supposed to do, but I guess you default to the short clips. Um, the shaft is beautifully done. It's got Southord's name engraved, laser engraved there. And then look how tight the fit is here. And I was amazed at how they were able to do that until I took it apart. So let's go ahead and do that. You pull off the stainless steel. And I'm going to go ahead and remove the entire collet. And we're going to take a look at it because it's so precise. Let me slide that out of there for a minute and take that short hook out. Again, all brass. And notice how that's cut almost all the way to the top of those threads. Well, there's a reason for that. Most of the collet manufacturers don't do that. Come on, baby, focus for me. So when we slide this bit into that collet, if I can line it up here, it goes all the way to the rear. And so when it's pinched, it compresses along the entire shaft length to really hold that pick in there solidly. A lot of them only machine it down about halfway, and then it's going to be twisting on you and moving around. And this is very well thought out. So brass insert. It fits beautifully. This is tapered to fit it. And if you look at the back of it, we have a step down cut here. They didn't have to do that. They did that because inside of here is a notch down area as well that that fits into. So when that slides in there, that gives us a really good compression fit. And we get that nice tight gripping. So half a turn, you slide the pick in and then literally half a turn. And that thing really is not coming out. Even if you loosen it up, let me pull it out again. You can see it's very, very loose. You put it all the way to the bottom, it just barely moves. And that nut, you can see how loose that is. So very precise machining on this thing. I'm very happy. I was very surprised. And you wouldn't know it unless you look at this thing up close. Anyway, enough about that. Enough of my how impressed I am with the machining. Um, these are all the bits. You get a total of 16 bits or uh, tips. They all fit inside of this shaft when you take the top off. Um, it's a tight fit, but they all fit in. You already saw the standard hook. Again, they're 25 thousandths stainless steel. They do need a little bit of uh, tender, loving care to round off some of those sharp edges so it'll slide into the uh, keyway very smoothly, but that's normal. So we get a set of four different hooks, everything from a postal hook. We got the standard hook, and then we have two lesser hooks. Uh, we have a and these are very similar, maybe from a distance, but when you hold them up close, these are the DeForest Twins. You have the DeForest Diamond on top and the DeForest Half Ball on the bottom. These are two of my favorite picks. Uh, you don't often see those in kits. You get a pair of uh, Half Diamonds. Again, very nicely done. So if you pick dimple locks or if you like to use a Half Diamond instead of a hook or you have a high cut pin behind a low cut, 
these would be some good choices. You actually get three snake rakes. Let me pull these up so you can see the difference. You get a small, I'm going to have to hold them upside down. You get a small one, which is on the top, a medium, and then a large one. But pretty cool, you don't often see that large one. And then you get the L rake or the city rake. Again, we'll look closely at that, but these are finished not so bad. I mean, right from the factory even. I would still polish them, but all not pretty sharp edges on there. You get a W rake for your kinetic attacks. Pretty strong looking pick. And then you get a double half ball. You got the ball triplets. Let's grab these guys and hold them up here. You get the half, double half ball. You get the snowman, and then you get the ball pick. If you like raking with these or picking wafer locks, these are the picks of choice. 16 picks, and they all fit right there. When you take everything out, this is what it looks like when you're carrying it in your pocket. It really does look almost like a pen. I mean, you can, it doesn't look, it's very discreet. No one would suspect that a 16 piece uh, lock pick kit is concealed inside of this innocent looking little aluminum tube. So anyway, there you go, the NPS 2000. Pretty cool kit. I gotta say I'd recommend it. I hate to give it away, but uh, you paid for it, you're gonna get it. So send in a comment and uh, the window will be open for 24 hours. After 24 hours, I close the window and the computer picks a random winner. Anyway, thanks guys, appreciate your time. Stay safe, stay legal. <laughs>